You know, um, if you go to Karura Forest, yeah. how do you feel when you're in the forest? In fact, I was just there the other Saturday and it felt so nice. It just feels the, you know, the ambience and the nature. No? Very beautiful. Our brains are hardwired uh -huh. to feel relaxed in nature. Yeah. Because that's how we evolved. If we are in the trees, without knowing it, you are inhaling some of the pheromones or chemicals from the trees. Mm -hmm. They calm you down. Mm -hmm. They release stress. Mm -hmm. The sounds you're listening to, you may not be conscious, but actually the sounds of nature are so important that people actually make money recording sounds of nature and selling it on the internet for people who live in cities yeah. who can't sleep at night and they just wear headphones to listen to the birds, the insects, <laughs> the leaves, the rivers. So, so imagine we have this. Even here in the city of Nairobi, yeah. we have parks, we have forests, we have streams. If you go to Ololua Forest, it's unbelievable. Yeah. But we're destroying it because we haven't appreciated it and we tend to appreciate things which have concrete and cash associated yeah. with them. And I think we need to change our whole understanding and comprehension of nature. If you go to Chulu Hills, we have this fantastic series of beautiful mountains covered in forest. It's called a cloud forest. That forest attracts clouds and the forest depends on clouds. If you cut the forest down, it, the whole system will break down. That forest absorbs moisture from the clouds it seeps down, it comes up in Mazima Springs, mm -hmm. and that is the source of water for the entire city of Mombasa. If you destroy the forest, Mombasa will have no water. Mm -hmm. That's how important nature is. Do the people in Mombasa pay for the protection of Chulu Hills? No. But that forest alone, in terms of carbon, from a Western perspective, is worth about $10 million per year. $10 million for a forest. Now imagine if we were to put that kind of assessment on all our forests, all our nature. If you wanted to build a road through Chulu Hills, you'll have to now account for the cost you're going to incur to our country because you're destroying forests, destroying water, destroying the carbon sequestration. Also, there's the biodiversity. We tend not to do that. We put railways across the national park without thinking. What is the impact of that railway actually on all the biodiversity ecosystem services and on us and our psyche. Mm -hmm. If you go to Narubi National Park and you stand there and you see this huge concrete thing across the park, yeah. you feel it inside you viscerally, mm -hmm. it's wrong. Mm -hmm. It shouldn't be there. Okay. So these are the things that we need to get, you know, get close to. Um, I fear that uh, while we do need development, Development should not be destroying the environment yeah. because that is the source of life of yeah. our people, oh, oh. the soil, the water, our air. Yeah. We can't do without food. We can't do without clean water. And we can't do without clean air. We can't survive. Um, so if development is impacting on that, then that development is not sustainable. Yeah. And Kenya has made a commitment that we will be a country that only supports sustainable development. Mm -hmm. So therefore, as citizens, as people, as leaders in the country, mm -hmm. we must stand up for sustainable development.